<laughs> Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And um thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on my uh my four whips. Uh the four that you haven't seen. Um you guys did see the knitting um blanket that I'm working on and um so um, I thought that I would show you the uh, my other four whips that I'm working on because I cannot just have one. Um, actually, I have five other whips, um, but the other one the other one is Nan's next knots, and that'll be a separate um, one. So um, let us get. Um, you know, I sure do have a lot of green here. Um, let me close this real quick so she doesn't step on it. Yeah, I don't know what it is about me and green, but I do have a lot of green. Um, this hat, if you're wondering, it is way too big for me, but that's all right. This is a crystal from Bag of Day, um, hat, and it is the Chocolate Bonbon hat. Um, crystal, excuse you, um, Crystal does love her browns. Um, we do have the mutual RNG part. God bless you. Um, but uh, hers was brown and mine um, is purple. I don't know why it's purple, but it it is purple. Um, probably because I had purple yarn at the time. Um, so uh, let's look at a um, Madonna a Madonna green project. Actually, it's not, it's just the bag. And it could be a froggy win and mitten bag too. So, uh, here we go. What is in the frog bag? My daughter, one of her favorite animals were frogs. Um, so, I am making a blanket for my grandson. I am using What is this? A J 6.0 crochet hook. I am using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the color True Blue. Um, and this does not feel like regular Super Saver. Uh, let us see. It has... Um, it's a medium number four. It calls for a five millimeter or a 5.5 5, um, millimeter hook. I am using a 6.0 though because I uh, crochet tighter. And it has, uh, it's 10 ounces or 482 yards. Um, my grandson's favorite color is blue. So that is why we got the blue. Um, there is no pattern for this. This is a Trisha special. It is, um, a corner to corner, but it's got texture to it. And it is a special Trisha Mama Swift technique, um, that, um, I, you, you will have to ask her, um, how to do it because, I can only remember how to do it when I'm actually doing it. But it does involve what I think is a totally useless stitch. A front post single crochet. I know it's a texture thing. And I know that that's what it's made for. But come on. At least there is just one front post double single. No front post single crochet per little square that you're making in the corner to corner. But do you know how many corner, how many of those I'm going to end up making with this blanket? Cause I've only just started. That's all I have. So, um, my grandson is lucky. I love him. I'm just teasing, but I do never. Okay. I'm, that's off my high horse. Everybody's going to be mad at me for saying that. Oops. I can't forget my hook. Um, so 
so I have to put that back in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put my froggy bag and I'm gonna stick it right there where it belongs on that tray. Okay, the next one I'm doing is um, a blanket for my son. His favorite color is purple. And I am using, let me see if I can grab it. And I'm using a Caron Anniversary Cake in the color grape. So this is what it looks like. Um, the blanket that I am doing is actually from the label. That's what he asked to do. Um, it is called the Blue Waves Crochet Blanket. And it requires two balls of the anniversary cake. There it is right there. Um, and I have three of these, so um, I should be just fine. Um, with those three. But this is what it looks like so far. I made it larger than what um, it asked for. Um, I did figure out the, the stitch count. My son is a big boy and he needed extra, extra snuggles. So um, it is overlapping on both sides. So um, this is what the blanket looks like so far. And I'm hoping that this is gonna be a Christmas present for him. Um, but um, I will put a link below um, to the pattern. Uh, let's see, it is an eight row repeat. And um, I'm on row nine. I know that because I just finished the first eight. And now I'm starting again with uh, Marianne from the Crotchety Clogger with her row counter. So that way I don't lose track of what row I'm on. And I am using a nine millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. I'm not sure. It called for an eight millimeter, but because I crochet tightened, um, I decided to go up a hook size. So that is the son's blanket. He's, he's already gotten a blanket from Trisha, but he wants his mama to make him one. You know, it doesn't matter that he already stole, stole my first Nan's Next Knots blanket, so he did have one from his mama, but now he wants another one. He wants one every year. So that's, that's a lot of work for me to do. All right, so I'm putting that back there on that shelf where it belongs. Um, this is a shawl that I am working on. Um, this one is a crocheted shawl, shawl, um, and this one is a Hobie, um, cake. It's the gold, um, the gold, um, and the blue and the black. And I am making this, um, to wear to hockey games, um, because our colors are yellow and blue. This is called the Amour shawl. I just started the second, second change of color where there's two of the darker yellows and two of the lighter yellows. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. And you can see where the change made somewhere down through here. Um, so this is, this is it. It's got a beautiful drape to it. Um, it is a one weight yarn. Um, I am not sure how many yards there are because um, I got these from the mystery bags and they did not have a, um, a yarn, uh, the wrapper. 
thing on it. So I don't know how many yards there are, but I think it's like 900 or somewhere close to that. Uh, so um, I don't know if I'm going to put the black on it or not. I might put just a little bit of the black, uh, but I really wanted just the yellow and the blue. So this is what it looks like. And I will put a link below to um, the... Uh, for the shawl. So there is this beautiful shawl, and I love this. I am I am doing this is a crochet one. Um, the next one I'm doing is a knitting one, and I am using a G or a four millimeter crochet hook. And he is in a um, Larry, a smaller version of Larry as Frankenstein's monster. There's a bigger one over there that you guys are voting on. Okie dokie. So I'm putting this one. This one needs to be done. I think it's by uh, the first, first week in October. Or is it like the end of September? All I know is that I need to hurry up and, and start working on this again. All right, so that's going down there. And this is a shawl that I am working on just to practice um, knitting with a um, smaller yarn. Oh, excuse me. It is called the... The, 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 the Speed Shop. It is by Ross Rochester, um, who was, um, he, he's not doing YouTube anymore, but he was Smells Great Guy, or Smells Like Yarn, and this is, it's a black and white one, but this is what it's looking like, and I've only done the first nine rows and um, I've gone from three stitches to seven stitches. So this is the part that I have done. I will put a link to this. This is a free pattern also. Um, so yeah, there is no time date for this one, although it is in blue, um, so I can wear it um, to hockey. As well, it's actually kind of a peacock, kind of a weird color blue. It's actually peacock. But this is what it's looking like so far. Um, I'm supposed to have seven stitches, and I do have seven stitches on here. So there is that. Um, the yarn I'm using is um, Red Heart with Love. It is um, color Peacock. It's a medium weight number four. And it calls for 5.5 um, millimeter knitting needles or a US 9. And I am using, hmm, I know it's bigger than that. I am using, not much bigger, a um, US number 10 and a half. So 36 inches and 6.5 millimeters. So, um, these are the needles that I am using. I wanted it to see if I could get it to be a little bit drapey, um, in it. So, but yes, yeah, so it's another knit project. Uh, don't listen, Madonna. And, uh, so those are my, um, whips aside from my, um, knitting blanket project. Um, I already showed that. And my um, uh, Nan's Next Knots. And I will show that um, next week. Actually, it is next week. Um, I will show that later on in the week. So, um, I'm going to take my dinosaur bag. And um, don't know whose dog that is barking. I think it's next door. I think it's Denali. So, um... I'm going to put this back, and uh, so yeah, 
I only have six active whips right now and I work on them um, pretty much daily. I do my knitting daily. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Um, thanks guys for watching. It's time for me to head out. It's almost time for me to go to bed. You can see it is getting darker now. Um, soon it'll be dark all the time. Uh, so yeah, it's time for me to go. So, um, thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.